Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ryan of Darwin Design here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to do some basic skin treatment in Photoshop. So, I just got a regular picture of Saquon here, and then the one to the right is obviously uh, the skin treatment. So, let's go ahead and run through the same process on this enlarged one over here. So, I'm going to start off by making a skin in Topaz. If you don't know how to, um, or if you don't have that installed, I'll have a link in the description on how to do so. It's very easy. So, I always start off in the Stylized Collection. I like Vivacious a lot, um, it's a good base put it between like 65 and 70 and I'll go to psychedelic uh, and I'll put that around 80 uh, classic collection and then I like these three from here photo pop mild contrast and mild color do mild contrast for this one and it always varies per photo I mean every every adjustment in here is gonna look different right so so I'll uh, just play with it I mean this is just kind of what I what I run through but there's so much stuff in here. I'd recommend just looking through it yourself and so you get a better idea of how it affects each photo and eventually like you'll get a, a better feel for, for the program and um, which which adjustments will look good on which images and you can build your own kind of kind of skin. But this is really the base of, of where your skin treatment begins. Um, as you can see, like it, it immediately like just makes it pop more. So um, yeah, so you want to kind of get your own type thing. Um, to, to help you stand out but um yeah that's that's just what i do that's my basic thing so um now i'm going to copy that that group merge it and um put it over the top make a camera raw filter group or layer sorry and then go to your presets i want to look for punch uh, i would just look through all these um because they all obviously as previously stated have different effects on different images but for this one i use punch um and I put it on luminosity, so it keeps like the details and stuff throughout, but that color um, underneath stays. So um, yeah, and then I'll put it on like the 80 to 80. That's what I tend to do uh, for opacity and fill. And then I'll use my layer mask to brush it in there on the parts that I want it to be visible. So I really want the the helmet, the jersey, and then I want to focus on the skin. I don't want to go too harsh, but I definitely want to make it pop a little bit more. So that's that. Um, I'm going to do the same thing again, just merge or copy those or sorry, select these groups and then merge and um, go to your camera raw filter again, black and white presets. And then I did landscape for the next one and um, create a clipping mask. And then I threw it on darken because um, as you can see here, just the effect it has on the skin and like just throughout how it kind of takes away all that blue. I like that. So. Once again, I'll use a layer mask and I'll just go through here and kind of take off parts that I think could use it because it adds value, which I like. So that's that. And then as always, I mean, you can try and copy the same thing um, if you see see fit, I guess. Uh, but, um, you know, everything is going to look different for each image. So I'm not sure how this will look on an image that you have. But um, really, this is just a good base to start. Um, and I'd recommend experimenting um because that's that's the only way you're going to get better so oh sorry don't don't do that but make a selective color group and um now we're just going to adjust these colors a little bit because you can see it's a little bit dark so we want to get those colors popping a little bit more so i'm going to bring out the reds i want to bring out the uh the blues and stuff like that um i want to get that skin at more of an orangey like golden color instead of an oversaturated or oversaturated red or like a i don't know like a like a yellow or a green so just play with selective color. You might need multiple groups of these or multiple adjustments, adjustment layers, but um, just play with it, man. Um, and until, until you get something you like. So it's still a little bit, a little bit dark. So after this, I'll go through and add a camera raw filter, camera filter uh, layer to uh, to bump up the, the lights and stuff like that to bring out the colors a little bit more. But I think this definitely looks a little bit better than, than before. So put the blacks up a little bit and that's that all right now i'm going to go ahead and copy merge create a clip and mask and then go to camera raw filter and um this here we're just going to really bring up the lights and darks and stuff like that um no preset but just just to make it pop a little bit more so i like my highlights up shadows brings out the details a little bit whites and then i'll probably leave the blacks down texture to bring out those colors clarity makes it a little bit more harsh and um 
that to that right there. So lower the opacity to the 80s or the 90s. Create that that uh, mask, that layer mask, and then just add it in there as you like it. So there we go. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Um, I'm going to do the same thing again, but I want to get more of the orangish tone on that skin. So I'm going to add a tint to uh, to this layer or the temperature increase. You could try blue. I want to go more of an orange since I'm looking for the skin tone here. Um, yeah, that's cool. Orange. Um, as you know, I try and stay organized. If you've bought my PSD pack, I try and label everything and, and group it just so it's a little bit easier on the eyes. But um, you obviously don't have to do that. It's, everyone has their own workflow. So, all right. There you go. I think that's, that's a little bit better. Now from here, I'm going to add some vibrance. Um, this is where you're going to get some very saturated colors. I like, I don't know, anywhere between. I always set the saturation to 100 and then just play with the vibrance. So I'll leave it here. Very saturated, obviously. Um, won't leave it like that. But I'll use a layer mask to just bump it up in certain areas. So I can get, get those color ranges in there. Um, lower the opacity and stuff a little bit. Then... Yeah, I'm going to bump it up through saturation, a hue saturation layer. Set. Let's leave it at set. Set. And bump that up throughout. All right, good looks, good looks. And there we go. All right, now I'm going to try and bring out these reds a little bit more. So selective color, uh, another selective color group to uh, get them to that color I want. Um, and <laughs> I'm going to just keep repeating this because I think it's important, but, um, I mean, every image is different. So the process will, will stay similar, but you may not need this like the color group or that saturation layer. Like, I don't know. I think you guys know what I'm talking about, but just, you know, I mean, you got to just play with it. So until you get something you like, but this is just my like generic process that I run through for every, everything I use. Um, obviously the, the outcome is different when you add like overlays and color correction and all that kind of stuff but just the generic thing um this is what i do every time so i'm just gonna go ahead and merge all these again i'm gonna i'm gonna look for another camera raw filter preset um but this time i'm gonna look into the creative section and i believe i use cool light but i just look through all these and see if there's anything i can pull um by pull i mean like just use a layer mask i can even take like a little bit um a little bit of it and um yeah and as always, blending modes play a huge effect in how how things show up on on uh, other things. So, um, yeah, always always be willing to play with blend modes because you you honestly never know what you're gonna get. So, unless you try. Um, so yeah, just keep on experimenting is literally what I tell everyone because otherwise you're not gonna learn. So that's my best tip right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add two curve groups just to balance out some lighting in here. And just kind of highlight the highlight the darks and or sorry uh highlight the shadows with this darker one which is essentially just dragging below the curve and then for the lighter one you drag it above you're gonna highlight your lights and that's basically that just like that i'll lessen these and there you go all right so this is where we're at now so this is where we started actually let me take the skin off so this is where we started and that's where we're at now. So obviously there's a huge difference in those two. Um, and so, yeah, I hope you guys were able to take something from this, um, this base process, as I've tried to emphasize throughout the video, just the base process um, of how I do everything. I'm gonna have a link to Topaz in the description if you don't, or a, a tutorial on like how to get it. Uh, if you don't have that installed already, it's very simple um, and free. Um, so yeah, that's that. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to help. Hit me up on my socials if, if that's easier for you. Those are always in the description. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.